Today's topic is going to be Modern Warfare 3. And this has been a sore topic for quite some time now. Don't mind me. I just, this doesn't work on the other microphone stand I have. So I have to get another one. So essentially, Modern Warfare 3 is coming out on November 10th, right? And uh, there's going to be open beta access, I believe, in October, I think, uh, something like that. So we're, we're like pretty much right around the corner. We're at the end of August. We're almost into September. We, we are right around the corner from this game. And, you know, I'm going to be honest. Um, I don't know if they're listening to, to the community with this whole thing, but I'll, I, I think that there isn't enough gameplay out there for a two-month release for us to be confident that this game is going to be good. And I think that the community has to just realize that Call of Duty just is not what it used to be. And I've noticed that for a while now, but I really started to notice it and it really started to solidify once I began looking into like, like Infinite Warfare was kind of when I first noticed that it was like, this is, they're not really going really very far with this. And the other thing I think that they're stuck between is a rock and a hard place in this sense, because Call of Duty is trying to innovate, and I don't think the players want Call of Duty innovated. And with the news about Outbreak being pretty much like a DMZ Outbreak, you know, zombie experience, I don't, that's not what we asked for. And there's going to be no round based zombies. That's what everybody's saying. I don't know if it's 100% true. I would be surprised if they didn't have it, but it's possible. Because again, I. They're trying to innovate. Call of Duty, Activision, Treyarch, they're trying to innovate. Sledgehammer, they're, they're trying to innovate the game to a point where it's almost unrecognizable. Because there's a lot of complaining out there about how the game should not go back to the way it was. But then there's a lot of complaining that the game should be innovated and changed. So, I think it's a rock and a hard place situation for both Activision, Infinity Ward, Sledgehammer... Treyarch, I, I, so in my opinion, I don't think the Call of Duty community, I've said this before, I don't think the Call of Duty community is ever going to be happy with what we get, unfortunately. And that, that puts, that puts Treyarch in a tough position. That also puts a lot of content creators in a tough position. I know poor content creators, but at the end of the day, I, I the, the, the sheer amount of issues that we're facing and the sheer amount of backlash that they face. There was a lot of talk about side canceling being removed. Okay. And side canceling is a very unfair advantage. I, I will say that breaking cameras is a glitch. That should not be in the game. Now, those of you that want to argue that, you know, those of you that want to argue that breaking cameras and side canceling and certain movement aspects is a skill gap. Sure. The jetpacks were a skill gap. That was what a skill, ba skill gap actually is. Slide canceling and being able to break somebody's camera is not. That's a glitch. That should not be in the game. The fact that you can tap strafe in Apex is not a skill gap. It's a glitch. It should not be in the game. I've made many videos about this. You should not be breaking cameras in a video game. That That's just facts. So if you think it's a skill gap, that's fine. That's your opinion. But the facts are is that if it's not supposed to happen or, or if it breaks another aspect of the game, it's not supposed to be in the game. It's a glitch. So you're cheating, technically, if you think about it. But at the end of the day, I don't give a shit what you, what you, what you, what you do. I'm arguing with facts. I'm arguing with what is right and what is wrong. Okay? So I think that with the the new found things that we have going on here, right? This zombie outbreak, we got slide canceling com coming back. I saw a video the other day of somebody using the Modern Warfare 2, I think it was a beta, right? And they, people were able to slide cancel, jump, bunny hop, do all the weapon swap, swap, YY, lat ladder stall, what whatever, right? That's all good and great if you're a professional. But if you're a... a normal gamer if you are a gamer that comes home from work and just wants to play you're not doing that stuff it's that simple like my for 2019 if you were sitting there and you did not know how to slide cancel and you were on console let's say and somebody else was on pc 
you were going to be breaking cameras because the FPS just doesn't keep up to how fast you're going. Now, I've never been into a skilled lobby that high before where like people were just breaking my camera. I've never had that happen to me. But I have had situations where somebody does something or they move just fast enough to go past me and it's tough to keep up with them because the frame rate, because the frame rate drop on my Xbox, okay? Which is also why I need a hardware upgrade, so Microsoft, get, get on that, please, and thank you. Anyway, personally, the reason why I think this, the reason why I think um, that the the game will net will not be better this time around is because we've seen these trailers before, right? We've seen these gameplay trailers. We've seen the unfinished products. We've seen the very refined gameplay trailers. And I made a video. I actually compiled all the actual gameplay that we've gotten. Like most of those trailers that we got, the only real gameplay trailer we got, I believe was for the Modern Warfare event and the Gamescom event, which were the which was the same trailer. But that that can also be staged. So the gameplay that you're seeing may not be the real gameplay unless you have like a killer PC, 4K, 180 FPS. Like that's that you're not going to see those kinds of graphics and lighting and everything unless you have the, the tools for it. So I'm not getting that on my Xbox. I'm not getting that on like a PlayStation 4. I'm not getting that on a PlayStation 5. Maybe on an Xbox, maybe on a PlayStation 5, but it's very highly unlikely. So, I I, I want to believe in it, and I've gotten so many negative comments about this, and it's fine. I'm not, I don't they don't really affect me. It's not my game. I don't really care that much. Um, I have done a lot of Call of Duty content on this channel. Pretty much, this channel was built on Call of Duty content. But I think it's time for me to start realizing, which I did for a while now, but realizing that Call of Duty content is just not going to carry this channel any anymore because. One, I don't play it that much anymore. And two, it's just not fun. Like, every Call of Duty after a certain one, I'm pre as, as I said, I'm pretty sure it was Infinite Warfare. It just seems like it was always going downhill. And now that they're rebooting, you know, the, the very first Call of Duties that gave them a real leg up in the industry, I think they're just getting desperate. And now they're just, they're just running the line. With the Microsoft acquisition, I don't know if they're going to really make any real changes because I Gears of War really hasn't had any real change. Like I love the Gears of War franchise, I, I I love Horde, but like their servers on there are trash right 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 now. So Microsoft, if you're listening to this, which you're probably not, I think you should go on and change the servers like you did for Call of Duty and bring those back because the Gears of War Horde servers are terrible right right now. It's tough to get find a game, whatever else. So at the end of the day, I. I truly believe that this could be something really special and when it that's only if they do the right things, which I've said this many, many times, the right thing would be to revamp a game and create a whole new idea, whether it be boots on the ground, whether it have a skill gap like advanced warfare, I think they should redesign call of duty from the ground up. And actually redesign call. I don't mean you reuse old fucking stuff. I mean like actually take the time. Do what Grand Theft Auto is doing. Do what Rockstar is doing. Rebuild the game. Rockstar is obviously using, you know, old stuff. But they're revamping the stuff. Like what happens in Call of Duty I feel like is they just they just redo a couple of skins. And they're like, alright, this is what it, this is it. Like this is the stuff. Like there's bare minimum effort being put into these games at this point and rightfully so right because worlds just buy them which is the which is the problem so that's the that's the cycle that i've gotten myself out of is assuming that just because i buy it means it's going to be better this time around so i have not bought model warfare 2 i did not buy vanguard i did buy model for 2019 i did buy cold war um, I enjoyed the Cold War zombies. I enjoyed the round-based Cold, Cold War zombies. I, I know I made a video on how easy it is, but I, I also think that it's it's good for casual players, and it's also just good and fun in general. Like, going from Black Ops 3 zombies and being a master at that to, like, Cold War zombies was super easy because, again, the Black Ops zombies, they ne they ne their health increased infinitely, whereas Cold War, you stand more of a chance for a higher round. And it was more interesting, especially with some of the Easter eggs and some of the actual gunplay that was in there and guns in general and the abilities. The abilities were fun too. 
I think Black Ops 4 was a, a, a needed a lot of refinement, and I think Cold War really found that that refinement. So that was one of the the higher tier stuff that I've seen, which is really good on on Activision's part. What I what I don't think is I'm agreeing a lot with my comment section, which is unfortunate because you know like like a lot of people in my comment section are very ne negative, and I actually did a survey the other day of who wa what kind of content does everybody want want to see, and it shows too because I'll post a Grand Theft Auto six a GTA six. Vi video and it, that'll get like a thousand views on normal i'll post a model war for a three video for like a long form video and it gets five views if i'm lucky right so i i hear you guys i want to keep up with some of the stuff but at the same time if it's if it's if you guys don't want to see it i'm probably not going to post it anymore um and i'm probably not going to get Modern war for three like i'm not pre-ordering Modern war for three it's just not happening. Like, I, I haven't pre-ordered a game probably since, like, Modern Warfare 2 back in 2009. That was way, you know, that was, like, 15 years ago. Almost 20. Like, I'm not, I'm not doing that. And I know all these streamers want to just, like, get the newest game, get the most views. But at the same time, I just do not enjoy playing Call of Duty anymore. It might just be too fast-paced for me. That's what some of you might say. I'm old, yada, yada, yada. Which might be true. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I, I don't want to play the game that makes me upset. I, I just, I found myself yelling and screaming 90% of the time. And I just don't have the energy for that anymore. And yes, I'm getting older, but it's like, at the end of the day, you're, you're going to experience this too. If you're under 30, you're going to experience this eventually too. I mean, if you don't, I honestly feel, feel bad for you. Like Tim, Tim, the tap man is over 30. He says the same thing. Like his doctor's like, you got to stop yelling so, so, so much. And that's what I've been trying to do not get angry not yell and just have fun which i think gta 6 will probably still make me upset in some cases but i might even just pick up gta 6 or something in between maybe even an indie game and play that that's got some kind of similar fps zombie type of vibes or i might just make something at, at this at this point because i'm getting real tired of playing video games that aren't really that enjoyable but that are the same price as a triple a game you know like Everybody's talking about Exo Prime. I played that for probably about an hour and I was bored instantaneously. And it, you want to know what it was too? It was the training. I, I, I really wanted to go into that without the training. Like you can't, I couldn't skip the training for some reason, or maybe I could, I just didn't know how to do it. I pretty, I, I pressed, I, I held B, I held A. You couldn't skip it. You had to like go through it. But I mean, it kind of did help me understand the game a little bit more, but it's like with anything else, like a training session just kind of gets you like the basics on how to learn something. You have to actually go into the game and learn how to like use the abilities to your advantage and be able to kill hordes of dinosaurs. So it wasn't really that helpful. I could have just done that on my own and just, they could have just given me on screen instructions on how to do stuff, like how to use your abilities and whatever else. But it was like a, you know, it was like a five to 10 minute tutorial and I was like already bored. I was like, this is, this is stupid. I don't want to do this any, any, anymore. But that's besides the point. Um, I I just I want to really bring this to you know again trim the fat from this whole this whole thing. At least I've been trying to do that from from these podcast ep episodes. You know, really, you have to admit that it just won't be the same, and it's not going to be better this time around. Like, there's there are tons of trailers that they like to put out marketing terms, marketing words marketing trailers that just like give you like this cool experience but it's like you're not going to get that experience when you play the game especially when you're playing against other, other people there are people that play these games eight hours a day seven days a week eight hours plus a day seven days a week five to seven days a week and it's not going to be fun to go up against people like that now i keep my kd low mostly because um i'm, I'm trash but also because I also don't want to get into games with hackers. I am I'm I'm an objective player, so I'm I'm an objective game type player. So if I'm playing like do, de, demolition, domination, I'm going for that flag or for that bomb. That's my thing. Search and destroy. That's that's my thing. I'm not going to be killing the first guy. Like I'll kill the guy if I see him or if he's in my area or whatever. But I'm going to be the first one playing the bomb, not only to get the points for for the objective. Because that's really what the game is about, is getting the objective done, not just getting kills. Um, but 
that's really what this whole thing kind of stems from too is just like so many people playing for kills versus playing the objective and that's that's pretty much what made me stop playing model for 2019 in the first place i've told the story i don't know if i told the story on camera or off or off camera i know i've told it off camera but my deciding factor for leaving model for 2019 and model for really in call of duty in general was the time that i was playing headquarters and i played i killed the enemy team five times maybe more and I was on the headquarters. I look around. My teammates, this is on shoot house. My teammates were on the wall, in the back of the spawn, not playing. I had nobody on my team. By the end of the game, I had 80 kills with like 25 deaths. I they We lost 110 to 250 or whatever the hell the max amount was. And I killed the team each time I was on the headquarters at least two or three times. before we got the, Before we got the headquarters or they got it. And I had no backup. And I realized that skill-based matchmaking, it's its more complex than just, you know, if this, if this is true. I don't know 100% know if, if this is true, but it definitely feels like it. Skill-based matchmaking is more complex. It's a much more complex topic than just, like, you getting put in with sweats or not. Because I've noticed a lot of times where I'll be the guy that's the best on the team and everyone else is a bot. And I'm not just saying that. I'm being 100% serious. I don't know if people have ever no noticed that, but it's like it feels like it's one good player against six other decent players. Or if not, one other good player. And like five other decent players on the other team. But my team is just like they just got their Xboxes or their PCs yesterday. They were they were like trying to figure out how to how to move forward and how to shoot and how to aim. Like that's what it feels like. And that game was that deciding factor, that game on Shoot House, where I was like, I cannot play this game anymore if this is going to be skill-based matchmaking. But there's definitely more to skill-based matchmaking than meets the eye, I can tell you that right now. Just just, just as a simple addiction standpoint, where it keeps you going, where again, you win five, six games in a row, you lose two or three or four or five, wh whatever the algorithm now says you you will lose four or five games or you'll get shit on because everybody else in the other team is way better than you or whatever. That I that I feel like is real, because I feel like it's just such a cycle every time I play, especially in Warzone. Win a game or two, and then you just get shit on for two hours. So I I think that games are algorithms now, and, and that's really where this whole thing stems from. And it's not going to get any better. I I want to make that very clear. It's just it's just going to get worse each iteration of games like that's that's where we start getting into as i've talked about before the mobile gaming type 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 of mindset because they're already again they're already doing this like they already did the store thing they tested the warzone store thing where you guys just kept buying stuff and buying stuff no there was a meta buy it there was a new skin that was meta buy it like that that was what this ended up becoming and that's what I think they're trying to just stuff down our throats now. It's just how much money can we make in a, in a month or in a year or in a day? And that's that's the real problem that's going on right right now. It's becoming more about money than actually making a good game. I don't know if Microsoft's going to change that. I don't think they are. So at this point, I think going towards indie games or even going towards um, you know, a game like GTA would probably be a better milestone, not only for my mental health, but also for this channel too. So... You know, I know that there's not, it doesn't seem like there's that many Call of Duty fans left on, on, on this channel, uh, because, you know, either you guys don't comment or you guys don't watch the videos any, any, anymore, but I've, I've had, um, a couple of videos that were Modern Warfare go, not like viral, but definitely get a few views. And, you know, I've noticed that like GTA stuff will just skyrocket overnight. And then like, you know, the, the, the Modern Warfare stuff, the Modern Warfare 3 stuff will just get like a couple hundred views max. And then usually a negative comment or two which is fine i'm not i'm not affected by that i'm not trying to get any sympathy on that i'm just telling you i'm being as transparent as possible i'm telling the viewer kind of what's going on here and what i'm thinking about doing um we do have a game releasing no soon it's going to be a mobile game so i'll be probably pushing that pretty hard in the next month or so um yeah that's that's the plan so we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens i'll have to test it see if it's good and whatever else and then i'll be able to distribute it to you guys and you guys can play it as much as you want but yeah, I'm going to be going into the gaming game development space, really. And this channel is going to be pretty much not like promoting it, but definitely 
um, it's going to be more leaning into my stuff versus, you know, just other stuff. Like, I, I might, I probably will cover o- other games that I enjoy playing, but it's going to probably mostly go into that. I do have a different channel, which I'll announce eventually, but uh, that's going to be like a cloud gaming platform channel and pretty much the company name for all the games and how the development works. It's going to be more of a behind the scenes, a more in depth channel uh, of what's going on behind the scenes, you know, my stress, my daily stress that, that I have from trying to make games and trying to, you know, manage a studio of developers and whatever else, which, you know, hopefully will be helpful for somebody like, you know, for somebody like you, if you want to make a game or whatever. But the, uh, the, the main core of today's episode is to pretty much say this new call of duty is not going to be any different. And, uh, I might even just stop covering stuff. I, I mean, I'm, I will probably end up watching videos on the zombies. I'm interested in zombies at, at all times. Zombies is probably one of my favorite things. I might even just play zo- zombies for, for this channel for forever. That might be the thing too. Uh, just do like, you know, maybe I don't really want to do the Easter eggs. I just want to play zombies. I don't really care about the Easter eggs that much. I'll, I'll do them eventually, but it's not like I'm going to be the first one to give you the news on Easter eggs. I just feel like that's a little cringy, but at the same time, you know, that's not really my, my, my thing. I, I, I'd rather see how high I can get. I want to test my skills on how high of a round I can get to. I'm not really more, I'm not really a, you know, guy that kind of tests, you know, the, see what new Easter eggs they could put into the game and what, how complicated they could fucking make it. And at the same time, I always look at these Easter eggs on zombies and I'm like, how did these guys even find this shit? There's somebody, there's somebody in Call of Duty giving them tips and giving them hints. There's no way in hell that they're just finding some of this shit. Like the garage Crovey Easter egg, there is no fucking way that they are. People are finding steps. There's no way. Somebody knows somebody that's telling them something that there's no way that they know that stuff that I I forgot what step it was. I I think it was like the egg, the egg portion of having to incubate the egg on garage Crovey or something. It was like, how did you even find this? There's no way you accidentally stumbled upon this, or there's no way you looked for this and found this, you know, building stuff is different, but like there are some pieces of the Easter egg where it's like, yeah, you see this thing all the way out there, 550 miles away where you need a sniper to go see it. Like this little, little tiny, little, little thing, this little light, you know, you have to shoot that with a sniper rifle. And I'm like, what? How the fuck did you find that? How long did that take you to find? How many people you got doing this? There's no way. Somebody was like, oh, they were like, oh, we're stuck. We need some help. They're like, oh, look, look over by the teleporter too. Oh, okay. And like, oh, look, a light. Like there's no, they're getting hints. There's no way they're finding this shit out on on their own. If, If they are... Oh my God, I have so much respect. But at the same time, I'm like, there's no fucking way. Anyway, we're, we're, we're keeping this one short. So I appreciate you watching. If you've like, if you've watched this far, you know, just subscribe. You've watched this far. You've wasted this much time. Not really wasted, but you've enjoyed this much time with me. So it's only right that you like the video and subscribe. Thank you.